so I'm just like trying to rush that that in real quick. And I and I did it did help and things like that, but I wasn't ready to take that test. Math guy, so I, I could solve the math stuff, but I just didn't even know what they were asking me sometimes and it was a it was a failure. That was that one was a failure. Like I, I knew in the exam I was like, oh I should have I should have really prepared better. But if we keep things simple, and I could tell right away that there was no lack of commitment or motivation or willingness to pass, right? Willingness to do the hard work. It's just that you needed a little bit more structure, right? Maybe a little bit more effective exam prep resources to invest your time in, and you got the result. Hi, Donovan. Hey, Wasim, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So, Donovan, uh, thanks a lot for taking time out of your busy schedule and, you know, um, following up with me on this interview. I remember that we tried a couple of weeks ago, but because of the scheduling issue, internet issue and whatnot, we're not able to make it happen. So I really appreciate you uh, taking time out of schedule to do this. And first of all, congratulations once again on passing your PE power exam in the first attempt with me. And I believe it was overall your second attempt, right? Actually, third. Uh, third attempt overall. Third attempt overall. Okay. So, Donovan, if you can give me a little bit of a overview of your exam preparation. When did you graduate? When you took your FE? And then what was your journey like for the PE power? Gotcha. So, I, um, whenever I knew that I was going to be majoring in engineering, I kind of had like a plan in my mind that I was going to graduate in like four years and then get a job and then go for the PE power. I think I had the background that um, my, my dad is actually a PE. And one of the things that he had told me was, uh, I think he kind of went through it the, the hard way and uh, took it when he was 10 years out of school or, uh, or so. And he said, hey, as soon as you get that diploma, go ahead and take your FE and get out the way and then sure as soon as you can after that take the PE so I I just said okay it's kind of kind of laid a roadmap out, roadmap out for me and uh, I went for it so I graduated in 2020 and that was the the COVID year everything was kind of shut down so I graduated in my living room with my family and then after that uh, there was some space between whenever I graduated and when I started my first job what I quickly learned was that my first job didn't need uh, they didn't really have the PE, any PEs that I was going to be working with, or that wasn't part of that, part of that company structure or anything. But I still wanted to do it just for career development, and um, that's that was just always a goal of mine. So I started studying um, after my graduation, and all, and I just kind of all I did was order the NCES practice exam, and went through and made sure I understood every one of those problems. Um, I didn't know if there was any other resources. I also didn't want to spend money. I didn't have any money, so I didn't really want to do any of that. I was just kind of like, let me just do the practice exam, uh, make sure I understand this, and go in, into it. So then, I so I did, and when I so I went to the FE, and I definitely didn't, I didn't hit the mark, so I didn't end up passing it. But it was a good start. That, that's what I would say. It was a good start, and I wasn't super discouraged about it either. I was kind of like, okay. It, it's not just a walk in the park. You kind of have to, I mean, but I, but I did put in several, maybe two months or three months into kind of going through that book and making sure I understood everything. But that was the only thing, just me alone with that book, trying to understand every problem, making sure it, writing notes about it. <clears throat> so then uh, after that, I said, let me just Google some <laughs> uh, practice, you know, some resources that could maybe help me study for this. So there, there was um, one that came up. Um, it, was, it was not yours. I used it. Um, and the teaching, um, they had, they had, um, it was, it was, it was fine, fine program and everything, but long story short, I've never really been a person that's like a big lecturer or anything. Um, one thing I did like about the program is they had like a huge question bank. So I would just go through that question bank and just make sure I knew I'm just, a, I'm kind of a do questions until you get it kind of person. And luckily for me, um, especially after hearing other people's experiences, I went through, I went through their question bank, make sure, made sure I understood it then went through the NCS practice exam again, then went and took the FE again and passed. So that, that was my extent. Um, That's great. So that was your FE. And that was uh, which year? 2020 or 2020? So, that, so I passed my FE. The first time I failed, it was 2020. And then I ended up passing it in September of 2021. 
Nice. And then your journey for Pay Power began, right? Yes, and then my journey, yeah. Yeah, sorry for being long winded, yeah. So um, for PE Power, uh, I, so then I, I kind of took the motto of if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I just did the same course again, did the practice, the practice, uh, sorry, the problem simulator. So they're throwing to me at PE Power problems, PE Power problems, also with the NCES uh, official exam. So I'm supplementing those two things and I'm, and I'm doing really well or for what I feel like. I think I'm doing really well on their exam simulator. So then there's, so that was my first program. Um, so then uh, I, I was on Reddit and I was like, I'm going to take the PE or whatever. And people were like, make sure you take these practice exams. It's like, okay, whatever. So then I took those practice exams and I was not doing well. Uh, so I was not hitting the mark, not where I wanted to be. And was like, Ooh, shoot. So then I kind of started cramming with, a different program. So this is now my second program. Um, again, uh, so, so then, and this is like with like five, maybe six weeks left before I take the test. So, I'm, so I'm just like trying to rush that, that in real quick. And I, and I did, it did help and things like that, but I wasn't ready to take that test. Um, there was, I, I've always been like a um, math guy, so I, I could solve the math stuff, but I just didn't even know what they were asking me sometimes. And it was a it was a failure. That was that one was a failure. Failure. Like I I knew in the exam I was like oh I should have I should have really prepared better. Um, so that was that. Second. So now my second uh, going into my second attempt for the PE. I said let me give this program my full undivided attention. I feel like I kind of crammed it. I feel like you know I gave them only six weeks. Let me go through some live lectures and do whatever. And I actually went through it. I I. I gave my all. Um, when I wasn't working, I would go to the library, go look up YouTube videos, everything, just like really digging in and giving it my all. And I have to say that my lowest was going into the exam, feeling like I, honestly, I felt like I crushed it. I did. And then later getting my results and it was not, I had no idea what to do when I didn't hit the mark. I was like, oh my goodness. Cause I think my a lot of people's ultimate fear is that you do give your best and it's just not quite enough. So I, I felt like I was faced with that and I was just devastated and not really knowing what to do next. Um, so then um, after kind of feeling bad for myself and everything, I kind of uh, took, so, so that was in that, the second failure was 20. So I think, yeah, the first failure was 2021. Second failure was, sorry, the first failure was 2020. Uh, yeah, 2022. That makes more sense because you did uh, FE in September 2021. You you're said, right, right, you're right. Yeah, so, okay. so the first, yeah, it was 20, it was 2022. Um, I took so once I failed, once I failed, uh, between that first one and that second one, I had pretty much taken like almost a year, it was almost a year in between attempts. This third and final attempt, in between the second and third attempt, it was very, it was pretty short. Um, I ended up passing or I ended, I ended up. Uh, passing the PE in September of 2023, and my first attempt was also in 20. My second attempt was also in 2023. So I took two attempts within the same year. My second and right. third, and th and so I stumbled um, before I kind of got ahead of myself. But your program is what I stumbled stumbled across, and I remember being really ex really excited and relieved that I got to have a one on one meeting conference with you and got to talk about it. Because a lot of it is just your journey. You're on this journey alone, and I, I just wanted someone else to validate, hey, am I close? Am I, what is going on? And and one thing about my diagnostic failing it the second time was that, uh, so the first one I failed on the PE, it was all over the place. Some One of them I passed um, and the other ones were kind of close. Some of them were so, super low. The second time I failed, everything was right below the passing indicator. Like it was pass and mine, every single one was like right there. And so I was like, Ugh. And then I remember the first thing that I, that you told me when I had my meeting with you is that you don't like to say how you don't like to judge on how close you are. You like to judge on how many how many um, sections did you pass? And my answer was zero. <laughs> so I was yeah because the way I look at it is that how many sections are you to the right side of the dotted line? Exactly right. So when we take a look at it from that standpoint. If all of your performances are to the left of the dotted line, that basically means that you are still below average in each and every one of those sections, right? Yeah. So yeah. So so yeah. So that was it. And and um, you and I, honestly, I I uh, you had me. I you had a game plan for me. You, I told you 
I had maybe seven, maybe it was nine weeks, like nine, somewhere between six and nine weeks. I can't remember. But um, I remember thinking like, oh, I'm telling him this. He's probably going to say, I wish he'd come to me earlier. But you were you were right there with me and said, OK, so you're ready to get this over with. You're ready to to handle this. You're kind of tired of the studying thing. Let's let's get you good. You need to go through this lecture, this lecture, you know, X, Y and Z. You kind of laid it out kind of like if, you, if I was sick and you're a doctor and you're like, you need to take this, <laughs> take this before bed, take this, you know, before whatever. And I was like, oh, OK, you know, this, this is what I need to do. Um, so I, so I did that. And, um, and then, and then you said, and after you do those things, we're going to schedule another meeting and, and see where we are. So then, um, I was just saying this, this is, um, for me and just how I'm structured, I love that kind of approach. I'm just like, I, I'm going to do what I need to do. And then, you know, maybe I may, maybe I'm good, maybe I'm bad, but we'll revisit it. Um, so I did those things and, yeah, you, you, we met We met up again, and I think then I took some practice tests, and all I remember really is before um, I took the test, uh, I had taken your practice exams, and I said, and I had passed one of them and, and then gotten pretty good on the other one, and I was like, I, am, I, am I ready? And you said, you, you are ready, um, and you can do this, and I felt, and that did a lot for my spirit and a lot for my confidence, and one thing that you said to me is that... Um, I, I get really frustrated whenever I'm in the middle of something and it's not going my way or I like I'm getting stumped or whether it's sports or whether it's, you know, whatever, if I, I can, I'm kind of in my head. So you said, do not quit while you're in the race. Like maybe after it, you can be upset, whatever, but while you're in it, lock in and keep, keep going. And I think that that really did wonders for me because when it came to the actual test, there were times where it wasn't going my way, but I was able to not get down on myself, bounce back. And ultimately um, that's what made the difference. And that's how I passed the, the final time. Yeah, that's great, Donovan. And uh, from my standpoint as an instructor, I do recall the first time that you reached out to me and you like Vaseem, hey, you know, two failed attempts and where do I go from here? And the conversation that you mentioned when I, I onboarded you onto the program and I told you that, listen, you got to use the onboard uh, on demand course. I if you can complete the hundred percent on demand course for me, and then watch the recordings of the live classes, or attend some of those in person and do the practice exams. I don't know if you use the study guide. Did you use the study guide? Oh yes, yeah, so that was that was okay. awesome to do in tandem yeah. with the lecture. So that's basically this book, second edition of my P Power Study Excellent. Guide. Yeah. So yeah. I kept it simple. I said that okay, this is your checklist. Try and complete as much of as this as you can. And once you complete it, right, with a learning mindset, that is, you are basically achieving mini milestones along the way, then the final goal will be a lot more achievable, right? The odds are going to be in your favor. And I think when you calm down a little bit, and it's understandable, this exam really shakes you. It's not an easy exam, right? Even the third attempt, I bet, that the final attempt that you took, and in fact, you mentioned, right, that it does make you doubt in between as well. You know what's going on because there's some questions, some topics, some co uh, concepts that are just super difficult and they do a really, really good job at testing you properly before giving you the license. So kudos to them for doing that. But if we keep things simple, and I could tell right away that there was no lack of commitment or motivation or willingness to pass, right? Willingness to do the hard work. It's just that you needed a little bit more structure, right? Maybe a little bit more effective exam prep resources to invest your time in, and you got the result. And if you look at your FE journey, you know, you passed FE on the second attempt, right? Clearly, you didn't give up. Then your PE journey, you pass the PE on the third attempt, you didn't give up. And to be quite honest, if you look at the grand uh, picture, the bigger picture, you are a 2020 graduate, correct? And you have both of these exams out of your way in less than three years. It's an amazing achievement. There are a lot of people, and you quoted your dad's example, right? It took him 10 years for whatever reason. Everybody has their reasons, right? To become a PE. Now you're just sitting, waiting for the experience to accumulate, and then you're going to have your license. So you are still ahead of the curve, big time, as compared to a lot of other folks who don't even have this on the radar. So again, extremely 
huge accomplishment. And I think the realization is going to sink in as you progress along with your career and things are going to become easier and easier for you. Options are going to open up. Opportunities are going to open up. So once again, many congratulations to you, Donovan. Thanks all for taking time and thanks all for sharing this inspirational uh, journey. Oh, of course. Us. Yeah. Thank you so much. I learned, I learned so much to become a better engineer, undoubtedly. So I appreciate you. it. Thank you. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below. You can find tons of stories of my FE Electrical and P-Power students over here. And if you want to learn more about preparation of these exams, then click here to learn more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.